today. And today is no different. Today, we, of course, want to look at what exactly is happening in the field of diversification in order to create resilience in the tourism industry right across the country, and in particular in Diani in uh, Kuala County. Well, we, I sat down to an interview with one of the directors of the Zuri group, uh, group, which is a global conglomerate in the hospitality sector. This is what he had to say. We're here at the Diani uh, Reef uh, Beach Resort and spa with me is uh, Bobby Kamani. He is one of the directors of the Zuri Group, which is the owner of these and other establishments here in the Kenya hospitality industry. And we just want to sort of get an update on what exactly has been the pulse for the hospitality industry, especially in the run-up uh, to the swearing-in of the president and the previous election in period. Very. So talk to us, Bobby, what exactly has the last uh, sort of six months yeah. uh, been like? Okay, well, thanks for having me mm -hmm. today. Um, I think it's been a very difficult and very challenging year for Kenya. Yes. Um, and, I, and I have told others, and I'll tell you the same thing, that mm -hmm. Kenya as a country and the Kenyans, we're very resilient people. Yes. Now, what I feel is that the hospitality industry, it's the same thing. Yes. Uh, we've had our challenges, we've had our difficulties, but we've always gotten up. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the same case for everyone in the country as well. Yes. Uh, it was difficult, but I wouldn't say that all of 2017 was difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, what surprised me, for example, was after the elections, yes. I was expecting that occupancies would have dropped. Mm -hmm. In actual fact, we actually had business from October onwards. The last quarter of this year, 2017, mm -hmm. has actually been an extremely, extremely good time for us. Yeah. Positive surprise. Wow. We weren't expecting it. Interesting yeah. that uh, we should uh, be saying that because for the rest of the country, a bit of uh, hiccup economically here and there. Yeah. And of course, this is now the uh, tourism high season. What yes. do you expect uh, going forward? So I think 2018 is going to be a great year for tourism. And I think the last three months of 2017, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, are giving us a teaser of what 2018 is going to be like. Yes. Uh, we are very excited. Um, you know, we can only go up from here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about the experience itself. Uh, maybe this is uh, what has contributed to this resilience that we're talking about, especially the fact that, uh, well, before it used to be just a beach holiday, you'd come here, lie on the beach, uh, a bit of swimming and that sort of thing. There's now a bit of innovation around the experience, uh, animations and things like that. Talk to us about that. So nowadays, holidays are not just holidays. Yes. Um, it's about experiences mm -hmm. it's about making memories creating memories mm -hmm. um, and so Diani Reef for example is now looking at focusing on making memories yes. at our holiday that is all encompassing for a family mm -hmm. we want to make sure that every family member has something yes. that they they are happy with whilst they're staying at Diani Reef and something that's always going to bring them back mm -hmm. so it's more experiential than anything so you are very right there yes and then there's the trend towards a more inclusive sort of thing uh, that mm -hmm. brings in uh, families uh, creates a child friendly ex experience and yes. that's Sort of thing. Talk to us about that. Well, I think every resort has got its uh, focus, and our focus is families. Mm -hmm. uh, we do extremely well with families, and I would like to tell you that our our team is excellent with children. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a fully qualified team that can take care of children of all ages. Mm -hmm. So we encourage families to come to our resort. Other resorts, perhaps will have other policies, but this is our policy. Mm -hmm. And then uh, let's talk a bit about the marketing itself, the fact that uh, we've uh, uh, for a very long time been focused mm. uh, on uh, the foreign market, uh, looking out there for business and that sort of thing. Mm. Businesses have started to look inwards uh, within Kenya and the greater East Africa region. How is this working out for you? Well, I would say that all the hospitality players, including ourselves, has, have made a big mistake in the past. And that was that we relied heavily on the international market. Yes. Lesson learned. The international market is not going to be there through the good times and the bad. Mm -hmm. The regional and the domestic market is always going to be there, and that's what's going to sustain us through a difficult period. Mm -hmm. um, so we learned our lesson, and that is now why we are focusing heavily on the domestic and the regional market mm -hmm. within Kenya and across Africa. Yes. Uh, finally, the uh, dispensation towards the county government and the fact that they've started to come in in a big way in terms of uh, driving this sector, mm. and of course the local stakeholders. Mm. What does it take for an establishment like this to start uh, saying that you're working well with the uh, local uh, communities, uh, you're working sustainably such that the yeah. environment is maintained into the future for all generations? Yeah. Well, tourism is not just tourism. Mm -hmm. A hotel is not just a hotel. Yes. With a hotel comes tourism, comes conservation and comes community. Mm -hmm. So if you can cater to all three aspects, then I think you've got a winning story. Mm -hmm. When it comes to community, we do support local communities within 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 Diani. Yes. We, we support an, an orphan's home here. Uh, 
just across the road. Yes. And uh, we also um, are, are heavily invested in conservation. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of the colobus monkeys running around. Yes. Uh, so we are part of the colobus monkey trust as well, mm -hmm. which is trying to encourage their conservation. Yeah, so finally, finally, uh, the thing that a lot of people usually look towards government and mm. say government should do this or the other, uh, it uh, also turns out that uh, stakeholders have to drive the innovation, uh, the policy, and uh, the drive towards marketing themselves. How is this working for you? I think that uh, the Ministry of Tourism, the, the Kenya Tourist Board, mm -hmm. and the government has made huge efforts in trying to involve stakeholders yes. into the hospitality story. Mm -hmm. And they are taking the stakeholders' opinions yes. and basing policies around that. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a very good thing. I think they worked extremely hard. It's, yes. it's not easy to aggressively market a country like Kenya when it's going through a challenging time. Mm -hmm. So credit has to be given where it's due. And, and, I, and, and I think the government and the ministry have done a fantastic job. Okay. Indeed. Thank you very much. For Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.